Do you ever wonder how to keep your customers engaged and coming back for more? Today, we're taking a closer look at one of the most powerful tools in your marketing toolkit, email. Stick around to learn about the three essential email sequences that every product business needs to build trust and boost sales. Welcome to the show, where we're ready to grow. With Samuel Chapman here to let you know, we're diving deep into the world of success. Get ready to learn, cause we're here to impress. From entrepreneurship to the latest trends, we'll explore all the ways to make ends in this fast pace, ever changing. Hello and welcome back to the Abundant Business Podcast. I'm your host, Samuel Chapman, a multiple small business owner determined to help you double your profits and work less hours in your product business. With 20 years of experience, I am excited to share strategies and insights that help you build the business of your dreams. This is the Abundant Business Podcast. Before we get stuck into today's episode, I wanted to tell you about my brand new free resource that I've created especially for you. It's called the three email sequences that you need. In this workbook, I'm giving you the three essential email sequences, funnily enough, that can help you gain trust with your audience and make more sales. Whether you're new to email marketing or looking to refine your strategy, these sequences are crucial for building a strong relationship with your customers. Simply check out the show notes at the end of the episode and get yours. So today we're talking about the importance of email to your product business. Whether you've got an online only business, a brick and mortar store, or if you've got a hybrid between the two, Email is one of the most effective ways to engage with your customers, to build relationships, and make more sales. Whether you have had your business for some time and you're looking to reinvigorate sales through email, or if you're just starting out, email marketing is a total game changer for you. It's something that I see far too many product owners either not using or not using to its full potential. And it's because I know that there are a lot of people that feel hesitant because they feel like they're going to be too pushy. They feel like they're going to come across as too salesy or they simply just don't know where to start. They're not very good with technology and they don't know how to get this thing going and get it out into the world and get it in front of these customers that actually do want to hear from you. They want to get more value. They want to get more benefit. So when done right, email marketing is not, it's not actually about selling your products at all, really. It's about building relationships. And it's about gaining the trust of your audience. So let's start why email marketing is so powerful. Because unlike social media, where the algorithms literally control who sees your posts. And as soon as those algorithms change, you might have a lot of viewers one day, you might have a lot less the next day, and it's up and down. And you literally have no control over it. Email gives you direct access to your customers' inboxes. This means you've got a better chance of reaching them and actually getting your message across to them and be seen and be further understood. Plus, email is amazingly cost-effective, offering 
a high return on investment compared to other marketing. You can make £42 for every £1 spent on your email marketing. There aren't many other marketing strategies that I know of that give such a high return on investment and guaranteeing that you are going to be landing in front of that customer. Remember, social media, you're lucky if you get seen. The amount of people that I see that you, you just don't even get in front of your followers anymore, the people that have chosen to follow you. So we need to find more ways and more strategies that can get you to land directly in front of your customers. And that is one of the biggest advantages of email. You can communicate directly. It allows you to have this personal touch and it allows you, without having to go through and write everybody's name individually, to auto-populate people's names from when they've signed up that makes you feel like you're talking to them. When done properly, your email can make it feel like you are having this personal conversation that builds trust and then gets loyalty. And through this, you're making more sales. Whenever I talk about making sales, I always talk about it as the byproduct. Like more money, more sales are the byproduct of you giving more value and more benefit. If you're giving your customers more of what it is that they're wanting, more of what it is they're looking for, and more of the things that actually they didn't even know exist, but you're giving it to them in a way because you're helping them to deal with their fears, their frustrations, their problems, their irritations, well, the byproduct of you doing these things are more sales and more money. So I need you to come at well, any type of sales in your business as right. Yes, okay, I want more sales. Yes, okay, I want more money. But actually, rather than that being my focus and my sole focus in what I'm doing here, you need to go, right, well, this is who my customer is. This is what they're expecting of me. And this is how I can help them. And this is how I can help them in the best way possible. And this is why when you use emails and regular thoughtful communication, you can show your customers that you understand their needs and that you and your business exists to actually help them and not just sell to them. The key to successful email marketing is to focus on providing value and benefit. Think of your emails as a way to educate, as a way to inform, and a way to entertain your audience. We need you to start sharing tips, insights, stories that actually resonate with them, that actually land with your customers. And they're like, yes, I need more of this. They look forward to receiving your emails. Rather than it being, oh, here's another sales pitch. Here's another sale. Oh, okay, right, okay, right. Another sale, another sale. Oh, another sale. Because that's what I get. Literally, every single day, I wake up to my phone and I... I subscribe to all sorts of different product-based business emails because I like to see what they try and send. I like to see through understanding and through research like what it is that they're trying to do. And I kid you not, um, I would say 99.9% .9 of these emails are just selling something to me. Not one person has personal business has considered actually what would this person on the other end what would this future customer want from my business how can I give them more value more benefit how can I give them a way in which I can build more trust with them it's non-existent and that is why why I'm sat here waffling away to you today because 
if you start doing these things and you start creating this part of your marketing where your customer is front and center in everything that you do and everything around your business is for their benefit, well, your byproduct is more sales. More sales means more money when done properly. So when you come to email marketing, and this is a little bit further down the line, um, because if you're not doing it, I just want you to do it. And if you're starting to do it, you're thinking about doing it, I just want you to do it. I just want you to get going. But when you get more competent at this, and when you get better and you understand what it is you're doing more so, I want you to start thinking about ways that you can segment your email list. And you do this by adding tags to people as they sort of land into your um, into your list. Uh, and th what this does basically is it groups your customers based on their interests, based on their behavior, based on their purchase history. And then this allows you to send even more relevant and personalized emails that are going to be of interest to these people. So that's, yeah, a step down the line and because it does increase the chances of engagement. It increases the chances of conversion. Um, but actually, I wrote it down a note next to me and I was like, pro tip? <laughs> because I wanted you to know that it was a way that existed um, for anyone that is doing this and you've, you're already sending emails and you're already getting engagement, you're already getting people speak back to you and actually end up converting further down the line. Um, but if you're not doing it, please just start gaining, getting your customers' email addresses. Start finding ways in which you can get these email addresses, whether you be an online only store, whether you be a brick and mortar store, whether you've got a hybrid between the two. There are so many ways in which you can get your customer to part with their email address and then you can start using it to build their trust. So before we dive in to the three email sequences that every product business has to have, I want you to remind out, I want you to remind out, I want to remind you to check out the show notes at the end of this episode for your free copy of the three essential email sequences that every product business needs to gain trust and make sales. This is gonna give you templates, it's gonna give you ideas in how you can implement these sequences into your own product business. So don't miss out and get the link in the show notes at the end of this episode. So, let's get started with your first sequence, the email welcome sequence. So the welcome email is your first impression. It's your chance to introduce your brand. It's your chance to set expectations and to start building this relationship with your new subscribers. If you think of it as, okay, so how has this person so far seen and understood you? Um, you need to go all the way back to the beginning and say, right, how has this customer seen my brand, seen my business, seen my tone of voice? And the chances are they have seen your social media first, then they would have come onto your website. And through that website, they would have either seen that you had a way in which to get their email address, so they would have signed up and here they are, or they would have seen your social media they would have seen your website and then they would have been encouraged to come into a store if there's one local to them. And then inside your store, there's a lovely display and a way for them to sign up to your email list. And here they are now. So here they are now is where it is we need to really start building on this element of like, right, you've so far seen this part of our world. Now we're going to get more personal. Now we're gonna dive in deeper into who we are and what it is that actually we can do for you. Because 
they might not know everything that you can offer them. They might not know everything that your business does or what it stands for. And this is your opportunity to really start saying, this is why we're here for you. So a good welcome sequence typically includes between three, maybe up to five emails sent over the first few weeks of somebody who subscribes to your email sequence. So remember, in any email sequence, for someone to get to this point, they are likely to be subscribing from different places if you have got multiple options for them. So this welcome email should really be setting the scene and bringing these customers closer to your brand, closer to the person behind the brand, really welcoming them in and saying with a big hug, like you're here, we've got you, it's okay. The first email should be a warm welcome, thank you for subscribing. Introduce yourself. The person behind the brand or people if there's multiple let them know why your brand exists let them know what they can expect from your emails how regular these emails are going to be this is also a particularly good time to offer a special welcome gift to encourage their first or next purchase in the following emails you want to share more about your brand story. You want to highlight your most popular products and why your customers love them. Include reviews from happy customers on the most popular products. Share with them why they love them and actually, do they also use other products that complement them well? If you can do this in this email sequence and say, right, these are our hero products. These are our most popular products. These are the reviews that we have from one, two, three people. But they also love this product, this product, and this product because it gives them a bigger, a better, a faster, a more amazing result. If you can get your customers to write a review, video a review that you can then put into this welcome sequence, it is amazing. And I can't, can't even stress how amazing it is. It's like the most trustworthy piece of content that you can possibly do to get this right in front of your new person, this new subscriber, and say, our customers love what we do this much. They are willing to write down, they're willing to video themselves to say how much they love it and how much benefit they have with this product and this product together. The chances of somebody that subscribes to your email list that is even looking for a result remotely similar to buy those products is massively high because they've already seen somebody else recommend it to them and it's not you okay um i can't even stress how how amazing that is um and now I've, I've lost track of where I <laughs> am because I got so into it. The goal here is to make these customers, future customers, feel seen. You want to make them feel valued and you want to get them excited about being part of your community. The community that you've created for your customers. Next up. We've got the post-purchase sequence. This sequence is crucial for turning one-time buyers into loyal subscribers. After a customer makes a purchase, you need to keep this momentum going. You need to keep, so they've bought the purchase, amazing. Now what happens after a lot of times when people buy something is there's this part of their brain that has a seed of regret and what is that you need to do is as soon as that purchase has gone through as soon as they've parted with that money and they've gone right that's for me your emails now need to show them what a great investment that was what a great purchase that was and to give them a better experience around your brand so 
You want to start with a confirmation email that says, thank you. Thank you for the purchase. Give them all of the necessary order details. And then you want to follow up with an email that includes tips on how to use the product, care instructions, any other helpful, useful information. So not only are they getting the confirmation like the bit that you get anyway, but you're also going one step further. You're saying, I know that this person needs this and this and this. Well, here you are. This is how you are going to make the most out of this purchase. My laptop is about to die. Bear me one second while I find a charger. better um so yeah we've sent the follow-up email so they've got the first one they've got the follow-up email that tells them how to use the product the care instructions helpful information anything else that might be of value to them then a few days after they've received their order you want to send another email asking for feedback or asking for a review this is not only gonna help you to get all these important reviews, testimonials, but it's also making sure that your customer feels valued. It feels like they can have their voice heard as well. Like it feels like, well, hang on, now I know why this business has had all these amazing reviews and testimonials that they've seen before them, because they're now going through this exact same process where you're asking them, you're showing them how much you care about them. And then finally, a couple of weeks after they've made this purchase, you want to send a personalized recommendation email where now you're suggesting complimentary products or offering them a special discount or a gift on their next purchase. These emails can hugely increase the chances of encouraging customers to come back and buy again. And you see how we've worded them all here. So we have, first of all, in this post-purchase sequence, we have confirmed their order. Amazing. We are then sending them a second email, which is full of tips and how-tos. And if you can include videos even of how to help them even more, even better here. Then we're asking in this third email, we're asking them for a review and to show how much more we care about them. We're showing them this is why we're asking for this. We really appreciate it so we can make our business, our customer service as good as it possibly can do. We would be really grateful if you could either answer a couple of questions where you can get sort of direct answers to certain aspects of your service or you just ask them to leave a review and see what they say. And then they've received the product and then we're going, right, well, because you bought this a few weeks ago, we have these products here. These will help you, like our past customers, also use this product and this product. It helps them to get this result, this result. If you'd be interested in getting the same results as, let's call them Janet and Tina, because I can't think of any other names off the top of my head, um, we would love to give you X percentage off of this purchase, valid until X time. Now you're giving this customer, you're not just selling to them here, you're saying, well, Janet and Tina also love these. You could also include their reviews. Here you are, you can also try these products and we're gonna give you this percentage off if you buy them within the next week or so. That doesn't, feel like a sale, that feels like you're helping them because you're listening to what your customers are saying. You're listening to how your customers get the biggest, best benefit. And you're wanting your other customers to also get these benefits and get the feelings that your, your previous customers have had. So when you're writing these, when you're putting them together and when you're thinking about how you're helping your customers, Really, really, really think about 
how you word these in such a way where it's not just, oh, by the way, if you like this, we also have this. Buy today. It's like the difference in the approach, the difference in the way in which you're giving your customer, the subscriber, more information and more reasons why you're sending it to them, they're not sat there going, why are you sending me that? Why are you trying to flog me this? Like, that's not the purpose. Yeah, we want them to buy. But we're giving them the reasons why we want them to buy that's wrapped up in the value, in the benefit, in the care. Don't forget to grab your free copy of the three essential email sequences every product business needs, available in the show notes at the end of this episode. It's packed with templates and examples to help you get started, so don't miss out. The third essential email sequence is the abandoned cart sequence. The abandoned cart is unfortunately getting a bigger and bigger problem um, in the world of online shopping because people shop around, don't they? They sort of click onto one, they see if there's a, a promotion, a, something off, like they don't want to commit straight away unless they know for 100% that's what they want, that's what they're looking for. So a well-written abandoned car email sequence can help recover a lot of these lost sales. So when a customer or a future customer adds your products into their cart, but it doesn't complete, they don't complete the purchase, you have to follow up with a series of emails. You cannot just leave this to chance and go, oh, well, that was a lost sale. Oh, well, that's not how you get the business of your dreams. To get the business of your dreams, you follow up. You remind them about the items that they left behind. You include pictures. You include reasons, the benefits of how it's going to help them. The first email that you send in this sequence should be sent within an hour of them abandoning that cart. And it's like a gently reminder. Complete your purchase. Remember that you have X, Y, and Z in your cart. This is what they can do for you. Amazing. If they don't respond, or if they don't come back to purchase, send a second email a day later, offering more assistance and answering frequently asked questions or common problems or common reasons why people might not have continued to purchase. So reasons that might be holding them back from buying. So you're going through in this email and you're saying, Here's more information, here's more value, here are more things. You're answering these thoughts, these questions, these queries, all going through the head. And you're also giving them reasons why to shop with you. Did you know, as a customer of our business, we do this. This is what makes you special. This is what makes you different. This is you giving your customers reasons to buy from you. You could talk about your loyalty program. You could talk about your referral program. You could talk about all sorts of things in here. Um, reasons to make why you are super duper and why they should buy from you. And then, if that still doesn't work, the next day, send another email where you're giving them, it could be a special discount, it could be a special gift, to encourage them to complete this purchase. By addressing all of the potential objections, by giving these future customers a little extra nudge, a little extra like, come on, come on, <laughs> you can recover a massive, massive portion of these abandoned carts. And it will help you hugely okay so that is the end of today's episode i think about the importance of email to your product business remember the welcome email sequence the post-purchase sequence 
and the abandoned cart sequence are three powerful tools that can help you build your customer base, get trust from them, deliver so many values and benefits, and then you will receive the sales at the other end. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Abundant Business Podcast. Don't forget to grab your free copy of the three essential email sequences that every product business needs to gain trust and make sales. It's in the show notes now, and it's packed with valuable insights and templates to help you implement these strategies into your business. If you found value in everything that I've said for you today, please subscribe, leave me a review. I'm your host, Samuel Chapman, and until next time, take care.